When I was a little girl, I used to think planting trees and recycling was enough to make a big change and save the environment. It's 2019 and none of those things matter. Welcome to Weird Part of YouTube, aka my channel, and this is the first episode of Wisdom Wednesday, and I'm super, super excited to be doing this. Thank you so much for being here, and thank you so much for being patient. I did update a really long time ago that I would, I was gonna post it um, like a few weeks ago, but due to a lot of scheduling issues and due to a lot of uh, topics that I couldn't find trending or good, I did film a few episodes and they didn't. But they weren't of great quality so i just dumped it so here we are and today the topic is zero waste so zero waste what is it why is it trending why is it popping in your recommended there's a lot of questions um zero waste to me when i think of zero waste i think about lauren singer who is this girl she has this mason jar filled with plastic uh, waste or waste that's going to landfill uh, for like four years and it's amazing that she has this set of principle that she can maintain and you know um, that encourages her to reuse and redesign resources and she has her own um, you know shop which encourages people when we think about zero waste whether we can do it in our life it's a lot more harder it's tougher to sustain and people usually give it up as a challenge and then forget about it and then go back to their old ways so how do we actually save environment without you know like going zero waste zero waste is the ideal scenario where people would basically not generate any waste which is kind of impossible because we live in a society filled with plastic and for us we move so fast so quickly that sustaining uh, is more important when it comes to plastic because plastic is more convenient it's more you know like you just go everywhere you get plastic stuff and then you just you reuse it and we don't think about it well this video I hope that you guys think about it and actually save the environment so how do you do that so there are many ways uh, to go zero waste or tending to zero waste as I would like to call it try to reduce your plastic waste so the next time when you go to your trash can or whatever you waste disposable system think about how many ways that can be recycled and how many ways that can be compostable and how many ways that's going to the landfill and try to observe the pattern if it's more like coffee cups or compostable cups paper cups try to create a you know like a um, mug or something or you can use a reusable mug for that it's, it sounds super simple right but it's about habit how are you able to cultivate a habit to make a better change obviously habits die hard and habits are super super hard to maintain in this fast-paced world so we need to make sure that we constantly enforce them and it's gonna be super hard. For example, I recently, I'm not yet zero waste because I'm still trying hard. Uh, I realized how much plastic I use. Obviously, we are in the 21st century and we're in 2019. It's almost gonna be 2020 in a few months. Uh, and the society is still the same and we are still flooded with plastic. By 2050, most of our oceans are gonna be plastic waste. I saw this very disturbing video, I'm um, sure most of you must have seen it, of this turtle um, when you, th this turtle has this plastic straw stuck in its nose and then they yank it and it's so disturbing. So I recently switched to using straws. Obviously I was like contemplating why I need to use a straw in the first place because I don't have like, I don't like drink lots of shakes or go to Starbucks that often. but. I slowly realized that you know it's important to you know have it just in case that I don't ever use a plastic straw or use it as an excuse saying that hey I didn't have this you know so excuses are those which make us weak and you know it's super 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 bad because we might think it's just one straw and just imagine so many people of us thinking it's just one straw and then they accumulate and go to our oceans so you as a person can make a change um, again, you might be thinking, why is it on me to make a change? Uh, obviously, we live in this beautiful planet called Earth and, you know, we, it's our duty to preserve it. But more than us, if you see like a corporation or we need to nip the bud 
at the source. For example, if you see a company using generating a lot of plastic waste, try to tweet that tweet at them, try to light a relative, try to get their attention so that they can make ways to change it. Obviously, a lot of companies are trying to go compostable, are trying to generate uh, use plastic from ocean waste. Obviously, we don't know how much of it is true or whether they're actually trying or giving us an excuse. But we need to make an effort nevertheless. There's also a lot of things that we can try. For example, avoid bottled water. I use this reusable bottle. Um, obviously, the water in, at my place isn't that great. It tastes yuck. Like seriously, San Jose water is one of the most bad water but um there's nothing that i can do about it i did use like the brita filters and stuff obviously there it does have a very bitter aftertaste so there are ways instead of buying bottled water which is like single use bottled water i know you can recycle recycle them but most of the recycling facilities just throw them out apparently um so we although we have good intentions we're like okay it's plastic we can recycle it very few of it goes to recycle you know it has infinite reuse reuse so um you can use aluminium cans they're usually expensive so i'm i just go to this water filling station at walmart and uh, you know just fill water there it's like 39 cents a gallon so i just use those milk cartons just wash them out and then use it um and then you know i'm just using that so uh, it's 39 cents and it's not that big a deal so Obviously, to go zero waste, there's a lot of purchase needed. This particular straw was $3.99. $3.99 is not that expensive, but uh, once you add up a lot of other costs, it does add up and you'd be like, I'm not gonna do this and stuff like that. So just think of it as an investment and try to like go zero waste. Another thing is like reusable cloth. So again, you know, dish cloth and stuff like that. You can just u reuse it. And plant more trees, I guess. So I, I'm like this plant obsessive person so I've just planted a lot of small plants and soon gonna go I'll show you my garden later but these are small efforts obviously this is not gonna be enough obviously this is not gonna be enough to make a huge climate change difference but it is a small 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 change we are all part of the ecosystem so making a dent is a, itself a great big deal so who are these people who are supposed to make the change well, those are the consumers, those are the uh, factories, those are the governments, the policies and everything. So coming to the most weird part of the video um, is the stainless steel soap that I recently bought. So I'm planning to use this uh, every time. So whenever I wash my hands, I use this. It's something that I came across recently. This is infinitely reusable. Um, even if you cut across something really smelly just wash it off and you know you don't even get the smell of it so to test it out I have some water here all right so I'm gonna use the drain here but I'm just gonna like just pour a little bit of water and then just wash it and then smell my hands Obviously, you can't really smell anything. It's like completely nil. It doesn't have any fragrance or anything. You can use it over your body if you want, if you're like, uh, instead of using soap. So these are some of the things that are, you can use it in your life to like cut it out. The other thing that I wanted to talk about is that there's makeup, there's a lot of other things that are not reusable. You know, you have to have to throw it out. Try to reduce them, try to swap it out, do something reusable. I know it's expensive. I have like actually thought about it so many times whether I should actually go ahead and do it. And you know, like there's like compostable trash bags, which is like $10 or $19 for like a gal uh, 13 gallons or something. Whereas the plastic one is just $4. Again, this is about production. This is about the, you know, the facilities who invested in them. They are the ones who are... <laughs> So I'm going to be using the stainless steel uh, soap. So over here, I'm just going to wash my hands with just plain stainless steel. Okay, over here. Instead of this, you can also use a stainless steel spoon, knife, whatever cutlery you have, anything that's big enough. And just, you know, I'm just going to smell it. 
all right and obviously i don't smell anything all right the, i also cut a garlic just just before shooting this video i can't smell anything of the garlic um now i'm going to be using like fragrant soap half this much and then to really test it out i'm just gonna mix this and then uh try to see if the fragrance sticks to my hand and if i can actually smell it okay that's enough Obviously, I can't smell any of the soap, um, but let's try it. I can't smell anything. It's it's actually great. You can also use it for your body if you want it as an alternative soap or something instead of using foam soaps that are really bad to the water. I've tried it, um, but I use a lot of deodorant and uh, perfumes, which are obviously in glass bottles. But um, you know, just as a precaution, I'm trying this out for like a week, and I will let you know how it is. But yeah, um, do I just got this from Daiso for a dollar fifty dollars, one dollar fifty cents, not one dollar fifty dollars, but one dollar fifty cents. You can also get this on Amazon, but they're a little bit pricey. It's around six dollars, but yeah, this is super great, super metally shiny, and all that. The other thing that I wanted to talk about is that this makeup. There's a lot of other things that are not reusable. You know, you have to have to throw it out. Try to reduce them, try to swap it out, do something reusable. I know it's expensive. I have like actually thought about it so many times whether I should actually go ahead and do it. And you know, like there's like compostable trash bags, which is like $10 or $19 for like a gal uh, 13 gallons or something. Whereas the plastic one is just four dollars. Again, this is about production. This is about the you know the facilities who invested in them. They are the ones who are pushing plastic and who don't want to invest in the you know the eco-friendly options. It is it's our duty to boycott them to actually raise our voice whenever we can to protect our earth. So that's all for today's Wisdom Wednesdays. Good luck in your journey of going zero waste and try to reduce waste as much as you can like for example we use a mold mug reusable water try to stop bottled waters i know it's convenient but we really can't take a chance we just have one earth um, this actually came across because i was like well i should do this video it's a very controversial topic on climate change and stuff most of the people don't believe it some people do uh, but whatever it is whatever your take on it is uh, just make sure that you reduce your trash try to be um, as good as you can to the planet try to research more from your garbage i know it's disgusting um and you know try to um even if you can't swap out plastic try to go for compostable options um instead of going for reusable you can also use compostable mugs and then just throw it out it just has a different fate than plastic that is all y'all um make sure you have a green thumb and use this green thumb to hit this like button and the subscribe button until the next video until the next wisdom wednesday see you all later in another video bye